the police is on some different shit. I know you've noticed it here. I want you to know it's like that everywhere. The police is on some different shit. Now, I know it's some cops in here. We do not mean y'all. <laughs> y'all are doing a great job. We appreciate it. Just doing your job, keeping us safe out there, and thank you so much. It's the ones outside we talk about. They own some different shit. The police used to be serve and protect. Used to be you are presumed innocent until you are proven guilty. Police is on some different shit. They done figured out they can kill your ass today and come up with a story for the news tomorrow. They done figured that shit out. And they done got so good, they can show us the truth and we can see the truth with our own eyes and then they can lie to us at the same time and confuse us about the truth we just saw with our own eyes. Okay, the first time we all saw it was at the Boston Marathon bombing. Everybody was looking for the fake ass, bullshit ass terrorist. He had a four day head start. He could have been anywhere. But we knew he was in the boat because they told us he was in the boat from a helicopter. That's him in the boat right there. That's him in the boat. Drew a picture around him. That's him laying down at the bottom of the boat. That... Then they said, the police are here. We gonna back up. Let the police go in and begin negotiations. And all we heard was brat, brat, tat, brat, tat, brat, tat. Then they cut the commercial. By the time they came back, that motherfucker had 20 holes in his chest, a tunnel in his throat. The next day they say, he was in a gunfight. <laughs> but he didn't have a gun. <laughs> oh, as a nigga, that is not a gunfight. That's a drive-by right there. That's, that's execution you got caught in. That Second time we thought, second time we saw was in LA when they was looking for the ex-black cop, Christopher Dorner. That was some scary shit. They wanted that nigga bad. Let me just tell you, I was in LA at the time. And let me just say, you do not want to be a nigga when they are looking for niggas. That was some scary shit. I didn't realize how much of my time I spent being black till I had to try to drive white for two days. I'm all up on the steering wheel. <laughs> them motherfuckers want that nigga bad. They shot up two Hispanic women in a pickup truck delivering newspapers at 4.30 in the morning Look for a nigga. Wait a minute. That is too early and too late for niggas. We not finna be nowhere at 4.30 in the morning, not even if we supposed to be. But we knew he was in the cabin because they told us he was in the cabin. He's in the cabin. The police have him completely surrounded. There's nowhere for him to go. We are going back up. Let the police go in and begin negotiations. And all we saw was, get that motherfucker. <laughs> then they said, it looks like he committed suicide. <laughs> they just barbecued this nigga on national TV. 